Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. In today's episode 38, we are going to cover sort of a mixed bag of questions very similar to how you get in real AZ900 exams. I will not only just share the answers, I will also provide you with the legit Microsoft documentation so that you don't have any dilemma while learning and you are super confident when sitting for the real exam. And that is the exact USP of this channel my friends. And my recommendation is that you my friends read the question with me pause the video, try to pick your answer and then validate against my answers. So very latest questions are lined up for today. Let's begin. So here comes the very first question for today. Question number 721. It says that you have an accounting application named app one that uses a legacy database. Now you plan to move app one to the cloud which service model should you use your options are platform as a service the second option is infrastructure as a service and lastly we are given with software as a service and the correct answer my friends is option b infrastructure as a service now friends in these kind of questions always look for the keywords for example in this question we are given with legacy database so this application which is the accounting application is using a legacy database which might not be present in the azure cloud so that's why whenever in the question you see some keywords like legacy customize or ingrown application in these kind of scenarios the best way to move your application to cloud is lift and shift and this essentially Essentially means that you provision a virtual machine in Azure cloud and install your customized application and then you can run this application pretty much in the same manner as you would run the application on the on-premises servers. Always remember virtual machines are always infrastructure as a service. So once you have established your solution on the cloud and you feel that you are stable in that case you move piece by piece or you can say that you can take a modular approach to change your application to use more modern technology and then you can move towards platform as a service or software as a service but for now for this business case infrastructure as a service is the correct choice now let's move on to the next question question number 722 it says that which is the longest term you can purchase for azure reserve virtual machines your options are three years four years five years or 10 years and the correct answer for this question is option a three years so three years is the longest term for which you can purchase azure reserved virtual machines moving on we have question number 723 it says that your company plans to deploy an artificial intelligence solution in azure what should the company use to build test and deploy predictive analytics solutions your options are azure logic apps azure machine learning designer azure batch or azure cosmos db and without a doubt the correct answer for this question is option b azure machine learning designer so what is a azure machine learning designer well azure machine learning designer is a drag and drop user interface to build pipeline in azure machine learning so here you can see in this animation we are given with modules so basically you can drag and drop the modules and build your own application for example you have one module here which is flight delays data and then you have this one here which is normalized data so before you normalize the data you want to clean your data as well that's why you drag this module from the designer and build your own artificial intelligence solution in Microsoft Azure. And please note my friends that these designers or these solutions come in two versions. You can see it's version 1 and version 2. And please remember very important point that both these version or the types of components used in both the versions are not compatible. Now here comes the question number 724. It says that this question requires you to evaluate the underlying text to determine if it's correct. So here you can see this statement with this underlying text. Let's read the statement. It says Azure policies provide a common platform for deploying objects to a cloud infrastructure and for implementing consistency across the Azure environment. So basically you have to review this underlying text and if it makes the statement correct, then you have to select no change needed, which is the very first option given. Otherwise to make this statement correct, you have to choose from all these three other options given. So let's see what are the options. At option number B, we have resource group. 
option c we have azure resource manager and lastly we are given with management groups and the correct answer for this question is option c azure resource manager and friends azure resource manager is a very important concept so let me take you through the microsoft documentation so that we understand more on azure resource manager so here's the documentation on what is azure resource manager it says that azure resource manager is a deployment and management service for azure and it provides a management layer that enables you to create update and delete resources in your own azure account and you can use management features such as access controls logs tags to secure and organize your resources after the deployment and as i said my friends in the slide as well azure resource manager templates are also known as arm templates and that's why the correct statement becomes azure resource manager provides a common platform for deploying objects to cloud infrastructure and for implementing consistency across the azure environment and with that let's move on to the next question question number 725 says that your company has several business units each business unit requires 20 different azure resources for their daily operations all the business units require the same type of azure resources this is a very important line that all the business units require the same type of azure resources now you need to recommend a solution to automate the creation of azure resources what should you include in your recommendation your options are azure resource manager templates virtual machine skill sets option c is azure api management service and lastly we are given with management group and the correct answer my friends is option a azure resource manager template and as i just showed you the documentation azure resource manager templates allows you to automate the creation of azure resources and deploying resource through template is also known as infrastructure as a code moving on with the question number 726 it says that which resources can be used as source for a network security group inbound security rule your options are option a service tags only option b ip addresses service tags and application security groups and option c is application security groups only and lastly we have ip addresses only and the correct answer for this question my friends is option b ip addresses service tags and application security groups now let's start with ip addresses so ip addresses can be specified as a single ip address a range of addresses or using cidr and what is a cidr well it's a classless interdomain routing rotation then coming to the service tags service tags are predefined sets of azure services that can be used as sources to the security rules such as azure cloud or azure active directory coming to the azure security groups well azure security groups allows you to group virtual machines together and use them as a group as a source for the security rules i hope i could make you understand a little bit more why we have selected this as an answer and if yes please like the video it really motivates us and help us to reach more and more wonderful audience just like you now let's move on to the question number 727 it says that azure active directory or azure ad is used to manage api cryptographic keys and you have to tell whether this statement is true or false and the correct answer my friends is no this is an incorrect statement and why this is so because azure active directory or azure ad is a microsoft cloud-based identity and access management service and it has nothing to do with managing api cryptographic keys moving on to the next question question number 728 says that azure storage encryption is enabled by default and cannot be disabled yes or no and this one my friends is a true statement that's why yes is the correct answer and just to give you more insight as i just said azure storage encryption is enabled by default and cannot be disabled azure storage encryption is a feature that encrypts your data using 256 bit advanced encryption standard which is also known as aes before storing it in azure storage and with that we have come to the question number 729 which is a drag and drop kind of question in these kind of questions normally you are given with azure services on the left hand side and then you are given with definitions for each of these services on the right hand side so basically you have to match all these services with the correct definition so let's see what are the services given to us in this question and the first service is azure virtual machines the second one is azure container instances 
then we have azure app service and lastly we are given with azure functions now let's read the first definition it says provide a platform for serverless code what do you think it is is it a virtual machine container an instance app service or function well the correct answer is azure functions coming to the second definition it says used to build deploy and scale web apps whenever we have web apps always go for azure app service and now coming to the third definition it says provide portable environment for virtualized application and this can be none other than the azure container instances and lastly we are given with provide operating system virtualization and of course this is azure virtual machines now coming to the question number 730 it says azure express route is used to secure traffic between virtual machines yes or no and this one my friends is an incorrect statement that's why no is the correct answer but then what is azure express route used for let's find it out so this is the documentation on what is express route well express route is an azure service that lets you create private connections between microsoft data centers and infrastructure that's on your premises or co-location facility you can also read and understand what are the benefits of using express route and friends all the documentation which i'm referring in this video all the links are given right there in the description box and due to the fact my friends azure express route is a very important service i have collected some questions on it let's read the question number 731 it says the express route is an azure service that lets you create private connection between microsoft data centers and infrastructure that's on your premises or co-location facility and those who were paying attention we just read the definition of express route that's why we can very well say this is the correct definition that's why yes is the correct answer Moving on with the question number 732, it says express route connections go over the public internet. Yes or no? And this one, my friends, is an incorrect statement. That's why no is the correct answer. And now let's move on to the next question. Question number 733 says that can you use same private network connection with virtual network and other Azure services simultaneously? Yes or no? And the correct answer is yes. And question number 734 says the point to site VPN connection enables you to set up a private and secure connection between the user and the virtual network. Yes or no? And the correct answer, my friends, is yes. And this is the documentation where we can validate our answer. Here you can read the exact statement that was given in the question. It says the point to site VPN connection enables you to set a private and secure connection between the user and the virtual network. So that's why my friends, our answer is definitely correct. So let me now present you a very interesting question. Question number 735. It says that Azure Blob Storage is a, so basically you have to fill in or complete this statement or the definition with the options given here. So let's check out all the options given. The first option is data store for queuing and reliably delivering messages between the application. The second option is file share that can be mapped as a network drive. The third option is key attribute store for non-relational structured data. And lastly, we are given with storage service optimized for very large objects such as video files and bitmaps. And friends, could you get the right answer? Well, the correct answer is option D, storage service optimized for very large objects such as video files and bitmaps. Now friends, all the other options are equally important as far as the EZ900 exam is concerned. So the very first option, which is this one, this one will map to Azure queues. Then the second option, the file share one, this one will map to Azure files. The third option, which is key attribute store, this one will map to Azure tables. And the last option we have already seen, this one is Azure blob storage. So friends, keep all of these definitions in your mind. There will be definitely questions along all these definitions. So here on this documentation, you can understand what are the benefits of Azure storage. What are the Azure storage data services? Then you can review the options for storing data in Azure. And then of course, you can have some sample scenarios for Azure storage services. So friends, before you close this video and dwell into other learnings, I have a very important announcement to make. And that is that very soon we are launching a similar real exam question and answer series on AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. For those who do not know, AWS Cloud Practitioner exam is an equivalent exam as AZ-900. 
So that's why my friends, in case you are also interested in AWS as a career option, or maybe some of your friend, colleague or relative is also interested in AWS. In that case, my friends, first of all, you subscribe to the channel, press that bell icon so that you are not missing any of the notifications and then share these videos with everyone who want to build a cloud career. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.